Hey guys, what's going on? This is Michael from GPRisers.com and today we're going to go over our 13 day profitability on the RTX 3080 Ti. Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be doing our third video on the RTX 3080 Ti. And a lot like the other videos, we're going to be going into what this card costs, what it mined over the course of our testing, and my opinion on whether that this card is a good buy for mining or not. So with all that said, let's go ahead and jump into this analysis. Now with the RTX 3080 Ti, I did decide to go 13 days rather than 7 days. I feel like the 13 days will give a more accurate representation. It's almost 2 weeks. Now there's not any real reason why I did 13 days, but the longer that the test period is for these cards, the more accurate I feel the daily income is on these cards. And the 3080 Ti is a pretty high caliber card, so I felt like we should add a couple more days to this testing sample period. Now I wanted it to be as accurate as possible, so I took a screenshot right at 13 days. Now there were a couple hours that I did have to take off if you saw my test bench upgrade video, so I went ahead and took all of that into account and added more time onto the back end of this test for that. So this screenshot is a very accurate representation of what 13 days straight mining on the 3080 Ti brought in. As you can see here, in 13 days, this card mined $100.87 USD. Now, if you didn't watch the last video, we were mining Kapow, which is Ravencoin, using NiceHash's stratums. And like I said in the other video, I'm not trying to justify using NiceHash's stratums, but at the end of a test like this, I'm glad that I have $100 worth of Bitcoin rather than $100 worth of Ravencoin. So if we were to calculate this out, we could pull up our calculator here. We can make the calculator not the entire size of the screen we can do a hundred dollars 87 divided by 13 days this card brought in seven dollars and 76 cents a day now obviously this does not include electricity so we will add in the electrical cost of this card so now that we have this number um let's go ahead and plug this into the google doc that i made now this google doc i know uh some of you guys were asking for it i linked it in the 3080 lhr video and um, I'm gonna go ahead and link it in this video as well. And you can go ahead and download a copy of it and run your own numbers for whatever cards you have or anything like that. And you should be able to get kind of an analysis like this, but for your specific situation. So here you can see we have the other two cards that we've done tests on, the 3060 Ti LHR and the 3080 LHR. So let's go ahead and add another column here for the 3080 Ti. We have the EVGA. 3080 Ti. This card costs $1,496.93. Now, the retail price of this is $1,399. However, I took into account sales tax, which is 7% where I live. And so it's important to add tax in because as you can see here, tax alone added $97 to this card. And to get an accurate representation on how many days to pay off this card, it's important to put the sales tax into the amount of the card. So I'm going to go ahead and just format these real quick. We have it there. Let's go ahead and add our income per day, which was $7.76. $7.76. Now let's go ahead and calculate the electrical cost for this. The 3080 Ti ran at total system wattage pull, I would say about 410 to 420 watts. Now our test bench idles at around 60. So for the total electricity pull of this card, I'm going to go ahead and just say 355 watts because it fluctuated between 410 and 420 watts throughout the entire test. So to calculate the total electrical cost for that, I'm going to go ahead and just use what to mine. Now here on what to mine, we are just pulling electrical cost. So I'm just going to go ahead and click a 3080. The total mega hash here does not matter. We're going to go ahead and do 355 watts. We are going to run calculate. We found Ethereum right here, and we are going to take $7. We're gonna take the $7.80 per day that it would make in this hypothetical situation, take off the net, which is $6.95, and this card costs 85 cents a day to run on 10 cents per kilowatt electricity. So we're going to plug that in here. And while I'm looking at this real quick, I did notice uh, when I did the 3080 LHR, I did mess up the um, wattage on that per day. So let's just fix that real quick. 
We're going to do 230 watts. I think I calculated it using ergo or something like that. But here we could do 780 minus 725, and that will be 55 cents per day. We could change that. And see, that added six days to pay off this card. Just that small little wattage electricity cost per day mishap. So it's very important to keep your eyes on that kind of stuff. So here, let's go ahead, drag this formula down. We can see here the net income per day on the RTX 3080 Ti is $6.91. Let me go ahead and put RTX right there just to make it look a little bit better. And so right off the bat here, obviously the 3080 Ti does make the most per day out of the three cards that we have tested so far. But days to pay off this card from just this analysis taking into account electricity is 217 days. Now, real quick, I just do want to touch on um, the fact that this is an EVGA card. It might be a further win three edition. However, EVGA here in the US doesn't really have to pay the same tariffs that other companies like Zotac, MSI, and Gigabyte have to pay. So that's why if you do see EVGA cards, they are always cheaper than all the other AIBs that are out there. So the 217 days to pay off this card is already higher than what it is for the 3060 Ti LHR, despite being one of the cheapest 3080 Ti's that you can buy. Now, I do want to touch on also the fact that I did not use MB Miner in the calculations to see what is most profitable with this card. And if you're not familiar with MB Miner, it unlocks the 70% hash rate for Ethereum on LHR cards. However, I did check up almost every other day that during the entirety of this test, Ravencoin was still more profitable than Ethereum. However, unlike the last video I did, it wasn't so much like the landslide I thought. But at the time of this recording, Ravencoin still is more profitable. So let's just go ahead and fill out our other tax analysis of this card. And if you haven't seen the other videos, the tax analysis just takes into account if you are going into the next year with a gain. And what I mean by a gain is really anything that you do personally, as so long as you run uh, you know, cryptocurrency mining as a business in relation to income tax purposes. So the, the example I really always kind of refer to is if you sold you know, $100,000 worth of doge that you bought for $1,000, you know, you're gonna have $99,000 of gain. So you're gonna be rolling into 2022 with a large substantial gain. If you're running cryptocurrency mining as a business operation, then you can take advantage of these tax deductions for buying cards to expand your mining operation. So I'm going to stick with a 25% tax bracket just for purposes of you know understanding this from a tax point of view. So that said, let's go ahead and just fill out this sheet to include the 3080 Ti. So let's go ahead and drag down this formula which brings our after-tax cost of the 3080 Ti to $1,122.70. I'm gonna go ahead and change these numbers real quick. As you can see here, the card price is $1,496.93. The tax, if you are in a 25% tax bracket and you have a gain for the year, would be $374.23. That means if you don't spend the $1,496.93 that you would otherwise spend on the 3080 Ti, and you just rolled that gain into next year, that means you're going to be paying the $374.23 in tax. So that's really where I get this number from. And so real quick, I just kinda wanna touch on it as well. Um, you don't necessarily need a gain to take advantage of these tax benefits of deducting cards or depreciating the cards. In every W-2, you have federal income tax withheld. So if you wanted to just start a mining operation right now today and you wanted to buy a 3080 Ti and run it as a business, but you don't have any gain going into 2022, then if you have a total loss for your mining operation because you're just starting it right now, in that situation, where you don't have a gain rolling into 2022, the income tax that was already withheld on your W-2 for your job will then be kind of refunded to you. So in that situation where you might not have a gain, but you already have federal income tax withheld on your W-2, on your personal tax return, you will have a loss for your mining operation for the year because right now you're starting up and the startup costs are expenses and you can deduct those expenses. So I just wanted to touch on that real quick as well. So let's go ahead and change the income per day, 776, electrical costs per day, 85 cents, net income per day, $6.91. Days to pay off this card, 
162 days. If you've seen my other videos, the, the part three on you know each of these graphics cards, then you've probably heard me say it before. Any card that can pay itself off in under a year is something to definitely take a look at. Now, just my personal opinion on this card, it is a mining monster. And I mean that in the sense of both good and bad. This card pulls north of 350 watts. It's very power demanding, and matched up with a couple more of them, it'll get very hot. That's where you kind of have to ask yourself the question of, do you want to have fewer 3080 Ti's or more 3080's or even more 3060 Ti's. Now in my honest opinion I think the best bang for your buck so far with the three cards that we've done tests on will definitely be the 3080 LHR. The 3080 Ti is very expensive and because it's very expensive about $1,500 after tax and all is said and done I just don't see the 3080 Ti maintaining value as much as a regular 3080 LHR. The bump in performance and what I mean by that is eventually you're going to want to change these cards out for newer generation cards and three years from now or four years from now when you do eventually make that switch you're gonna be selling it in the third party market, likely to someone who wants to start gaming with it. Or they could always be mining with it, but we're just gonna use gaming as an example here. In three, four years from now, I can't tell the future, but when it comes down to third party pricing, gamers are gonna be sitting back at that time and looking at the performance difference between a 3080 and a 3080 Ti. And I didn't say LHR because LHR does not affect gaming whatsoever. And so you get a couple extra bells and whistles with the 3080 Ti compared to the regular 3080. But at the end of the day, the cheapest EVGA 3080 Ti starts at what the Founders Edition 3090 starts at. And the 3090 has 24 gigabytes of VRAM which I feel in three, four years, that amount of VRAM will definitely be more utilized than it is today. So in my honest opinion, I see the 3080 Ti's as dropping in price. I feel that there's going to be a larger supply of 3080 Ti's because there's not as much of a demand for them. And I don't really think that there's much of a demand for them because I don't think gamers or miners can really justify the giant price hike that they had on these. But Time will tell. For me personally, I was planning on putting this card into my main computer. My main computer I use for video editing and video processing and everything like that and just day-to-day -day tasks and ultimately I wanted a little more VRAM. So I think I'm actually going to be going with a 3090 once I can get one for a reasonable price. Because the price difference between a 3080 with 10 gigabytes of VRAM and a 3090 with 24 gigabytes of VRAM I can feel would be justified. But the price difference between a 3080 Ti with only 12 gigabytes of RAM and a 3090 with 24 gigabytes of VRAM, I cannot justify that price difference. And so my opinion on the 3080 Ti, 162 days to pay off a card is great. If you have a rig in your home where you only plan on having two, three, or even four cards on it, I think that that's okay. Four cards on this would be drawing a about 1400 watts. You could probably tweak it a little bit better and get a little bit lower, maybe even swap algorithms and, and get it much lower. But having six of these on a single rig is not really ideal. And ideal, I'm just saying for, you know, power supply, you're likely going to have to have a dual power supply along with, you know, ample spacing because these things do produce a lot of heat. So in my personal opinion, um, I don't necessarily like the super low wattage cards, such as, you know, the AMD 6600 XT, which I think gets 55 watts. And I also kind of phased out of the whole, you know, 470, 480, 570, 580 mining edition cards and, you know, even a good BIOS mod on those getting those to almost 95 watts because they just take up so much space. So there's a fair balance, really. You don't want to have, you know, 24 cards and six cards on a rig and have to pay, you know, for four motherboards, four power supplies and deal with four separate things and then have each of those cards just hashing very low. But then you also don't want, you know, two rigs with, you know, $2,500 3090s on all of them. When I say you don't want that, I'm kind of talking in my own experience and in my opinion. If you have like a warehouse or something where you're getting five, six, seven cents a kilowatt, and you could just load as many of these cards as you want in there, then okay, I do understand that. But if you're looking for just consolidation, pure consolidation, where you just wanna have four very good cards, then maybe a 3080 Ti is something that you can look at. However, in my opinion, it's still an LHR card. 
Um, I'm going to be doing an analysis on the 3090 and I'll better understand it then and I'll be able to show you guys you know really what the breakdown on those are but you know right here especially with the numbers um, you know a 3080 LHR really I think is the gold card to get right now you know from an after-tax standpoint you know 131 days to pay off a card is amazing and also I can fit six of those on one 1600 watt power supply Whereas fitting even four 3080 Ti's mining Raven is going to have some issues. You're going to be hitting that, you know, 80% on that, that power supply. So when you look at it from like a one rig standpoint, six 3080 LHRs will mine more per day than four 3080 Ti's. And just doing a quick analysis of this, six of the 3080 LHRs will cost $4,640 and four of the 3080 Ti's after tax will cost $4,490. So we're about $150 difference here. Both would theoretically have the same days to pay off. So 131 for the 3080 LHR, 162 for the 3080 Ti. And so for after, you know, for net income per day after electricity for the 3080 LHR, we can calculate that out. It, that would be $35.40 for six of those. For the 3080 Ti, for four of those, That'd be $27.64. So you'll be making more money with it on one rig. You won't have to separate it out and get more motherboards, more power supplies, more, you know, everything. So yeah, lo long story short, the 3080, I still feel would be the best buy here. And I kind of think that that trickles over to the 3060 Ti, this, this whole thought process of how many cards that you could put on a rig that's comfortable with whatever power supply you have. You know, you can't really power six 3080 LHRs or 3080s, you know, six times 220 watts is, you know, 1320. The 1320 on a 1600 watt power supply is right there, but you need a 1600 watt power supply to power six 3080s. So if you have a 1300 watt power supply or 1200 watt power supply, then you're going to want to be looking at 3060 Ti LHRs or 3060 Ti's or 3070s. And so the analysis always kind of comes down to is, you know, what is your situation? And that's kind of what I tell anyone getting into mining is it's, it's so specific to what your situation is. So that's everything for this video. I appreciate you guys stopping by. The next three part video series I'm go going to be doing is on the 3070 Ti. And I'm very excited for that. I, I feel like it will be very promising, but it's hard to really tell until we do a whole analysis on this and break it down and be able to get an accurate representation on how long it will take off to pay off the card. But I am very hopeful for it. So again, that's everything for this video. I appreciate you guys stopping by. If you like the video, please hit that like button. And if you like the content that we're rolling out, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We have a lot of exciting things coming to the channel. I think at time of filming this, we have over 700 subscribers already. It really is crazy. You know, I would spend so much time on the, you know, this side of the computer staring at the screen, watching all these other YouTubers do it and kept thinking, you know, day after day, I, I want to get involved with it. I want to start doing videos. So I know they're not perfect and everything like that, but it, it is very exciting to be a part of this community. We're having a great time doing it and, and we're very excited to bring you guys some really cool content coming soon. But enough of all of that. Um, I really do appreciate you guys. Drop a comment if you want us to do any kind of testing or anything with these cards. But until then, we'll see you guys next time.